Hello everyone, this is me Sakya and I'm doing your um, 10 days reading starting from the 10th of August till the 20th of uh, August 2018 and this is going to be for the sign of Scorpio. So let's see what's coming up for Scorpions for the for these 10 days of uh, August. Uh, I'm sorry I couldn't get the monthlies out because I've been busy with uh, um, some stuff. So, um, but yeah, now I'm free and I will be doing the readings um regularly like as in um the 10 days readings that i do and the monthlies that i will do when the when the next month comes up so let's see what's coming up for scorpions for these 10 days of uh, august i'll be putting out just two cards so let's see what's up with scorpions <clears throat> king of swords wanted to pop out let's see i'll give it one more shuffle so let's see what's coming up for scorpions okay at the bottom of the deck you have the three of swords the emperor and the temperance and at the bottom of the deck you do have three of swords underneath that you do have uh <clears throat> i'll put this card here underneath that you have ten of cups Underneath that, you have a star card. Underneath that, eight of swords. Okay. Underneath that, the hero of wands. Underneath that, the knight of uh, wands. Uh, for most of you, I do pick up the energies that uh, <clears throat> um, you are in now. Um, you are in your life at the moment where you are... Um, it's it's getting hard for you to make a decision about something and it's like uh, that time period that you need to make that decision the the time period when you are in the process of making that decision it's like it's kind of uh, um it's kind of hard for you to tolerate this um it, it's like your own created thing it's not something uh, brought to you by anybody else it's like you uh, took your time to decide on it and it's like the time, in fact, you are taking the time to decide about it, even though you know once you take the decision, it will bring you happiness. And because it's like divinely guided something that's coming your way. So it's like <clears throat> this, uh, excuse me, uh, this situation that you are dealing with, uh, dealing with right now and the time that you are taking is, um, is the only reason why you are suffering from this pain or hurt or whatever it is. But <clears throat> if you, um, like I said, the three of swords here, <clears throat> excuse me, the three of swords here is kind of uh, the same energy as uh, eight of swords here underneath that uh, star card. Because it's like you, you are self-sabotaging yourself with this delay in the decision making that you are taking time for. And it's like... Uh, <clears throat> for most of you, I believe this is something related to either getting married or either getting into a commitment or something like that. Because it's it's like um it's it's more like um maybe, you know, if if you like somebody and it's like there is one thing that is stopping you from, you know, um spending more time with them or spending or giving them more um you know, um, if you like spending time with them, it's like there is one thing that is stopping you from, you know, spending more time with them or giving them more time because you feel um, it's like you just it's it's not there. It's just that you feel that um, maybe they will ask for the commitment. Maybe they will ask you uh, to get married. And that's something that you don't want to get into right now. But having said that, <clears throat> it's it's more like um you you want to make things work and you don't want to f stay stuck in the situation but you are not sh you know you, you don't know where what to do in this particular situation because all you all you want to do is you want to get done with this time so you could spend the time that you desire to spend with this person and it's like um even though it's it's you yourself that is um you know, it's it's your own thing. You are holding yourself back. It's it's not um, anybody else's like decision to make. So it's like it's it's all in your hand. You can uh, get rid of this pain and hurt that you are going through right now, or um, for that you need to make the decision, and that is it. Like you will be free from this pain and hurt. 
if and when you make the decision it's like you you will feel like an emperor um making that decision because uh, i do feel like uh, <clears throat> it's um it's it's more like um once you make that decision you uh you will feel on the top of the world it's like it will give you that kind of a feeling in your life that you um everything in your life will settle down and that's exactly what you desire right underneath these cards you have the star the uh, ten of cups and it's like that's exactly what you wish for but again you are holding yourself back and that is making you go through this pain and um you can ignore this pain you can you know just make the decision don't um because i feel i don't know why i'm picking up the energies that you are still going to take time and um there is no need for you to take that much time to decide on this particular thing because it's it's like it's your own fear that is holding you back it's it's nothing in the other person that you are dealing with it's your own fear of commitment um of uh, getting into you know uh, marriage or something that is the only thing that is holding you back from you know uh, talking to this person and even though if you're not talking with this person it's like that person is still staying on your mind all the time and it's it's like you cannot ignore um the feeling that you have for this person so it's it's better to um it's better to you know uh stop self sabotaging yourself and go ahead with whatever uh thing that you like about this person talk about this uh, whole situation with this person if you don't want to go into committed relationship then talk about it and let the other person know because it's like you are not communicating with them or you are not talking to them and you are not being open about your feelings towards them and that is um that that will only hurt you or bring pain in your relationship with this person and if you open up about things you will be you know you will be surprised to know that things going to go very easy it's not going to go like you kind of have this image in your mind that maybe this will happen or that will happen nothing's bad going to happen it's all in your head maybe because of your past relationships maybe because of your past experience with this person um but remember one thing with the star card here it's it's something divinely guided it's like it's not in your control ultimately if you are not going to take the decision if you're going to go through this uh, same pattern of going through the pain and all and keeping your feelings towards yourself not sharing it out with this person you will ultimately share your feelings because with the temperance card here um if you don't take the decision the decision will be taken uh by the universe itself because the star is also guiding you towards this person and if you take your time if you um let things go things will work out for you in your favor in the favor of your relationship with this person i would like to take a clarifier for the emperor and then the temperance because i want to see um <clears throat> what the emperor is all about i strongly feel that you know the emperor energy here is um is what you desire to have you want to be uh, on top of the world and this person can prove to be your uh, strength if you go uh, go about it like this way so let's see what the emperor is all about five of wands king of wands seven of swords you are running away from it um and same energy like you know self sabotaging energy so many things going on in your head uh you are passionate about this person and you know that you want it and then you hold yourself back and it's like you cannot enjoy being the emperor or you cannot enjoy being all satisfied in your life until and unless you um deal with the situation deal with this person or deal with the situation i would say not this person because you need there's nothing wrong with the person uh, himself or herself it's it's just you and your um own mind that you need to deal with because it's like you um you are self deceptiving yourself i would say because it's it's more like um um you want this person and then you don't want this person it's like pull and push and pull kind of a thing that is going on between even if not between you and this person then it's it's going on in your head right now so you need to get 
done with that thing because ultimately you can achieve the happiness that you desire once you make a decision about this person in your life let me take a clarify for the temperance i do pick up the energies of uh, you taking things as they come don't um over analyze about them or don't uh overthink about situations that you're having you know right now in your life because let things unfold with the temperance card don't uh you know don't um don't make up stories of your own let things unfold let this relationship that you have with this person unfold and let you you know let yourself see what the other person has to offer don't kind of you know um prejudge the situation and you know think oh no if i give this to this person the other person is going to you know start looking for a committed bond or something and you know just go with the flow and let things unfold and you will be guided towards a better future for sure with the star card and um ten of cups underneath the only thing that is stopping you is a, you know your own negativity um regarding this person it's not about the person it's it's all in your head you need to cleanse your mind you need to let go of the negativity that you have in your mind regarding the um uh, relationships regarding the commitments because that's how you gonna uh, go easy about your life so let's see what the temperance is all about <clears throat> four of pentacles you are holding on to the situation very tightly you are just not letting it go queen of hearts jack of uh, um how do we say it and it's like um knight of um swords or page of swords um it's it's more like um you you know that this person loves you and or have a very strong feeling about you and that is the only thing maybe you know um or maybe if you had a past with this person you know that this person loves you or you know they this person loved you and that is one thing that is kind of you know stopping you from um getting in giving it another chance because you don't want to ruin the whole thing getting into a relationship and then you know um you know you don't want the other person to kind of um, ask for commitment or something like that because with the uh, with the four of pentacle it's like um you uh it's it's more like you know the queen of hearts here it's it's more like um now the situation has changed if they liked you before um uh, it's like you also have the feelings with the four of pentacles next to the queen of uh, hearts here it's it's more like you have the feelings for this person too it's not just one sided kind of a thing anymore and um that is why you kind of you know scared what if i let go of my emotions and you know let them flow towards her what will happen next and that is why you think um um that is why you're fearing the uh, you know the commitment thing here because with the um uh, knight of swords or the page of swords it's it's more like um <clears throat> you want to talk to them no doubt there is no doubt that you want to talk to them you want to share your feelings it's it's just that that one thing that is stopping you and that is like you know you should not let that thing stop you don't um don't overthink about the situation and don't let your own mind or let your own stories made up by your own mind ruin the whole thing with this person because you want this person and if you don't have this person that is what you're going through because you don't have them around and if you talk to them you feel good and if you talk to them you feel I don't know with the emperor here I feel like this person gives you so much strength so much happiness so much uh, power um maybe they boost your ego maybe they feed your ego maybe they um they treat you like a princess or prince and it's like that is one thing that you want in your life but at the same time you get confused whether should I you know commit to this person or whether should I go for marriage with this person make up your mind but be sure that you know whatever decision that you're going to make whatever decision that you're going to take will be divinely guided so there is nothing going to go wrong in this whole particular situation 
So be relaxed and go with what your heart tells you to go for. Like if you want to share your feelings with this person, go for it. Don't hold yourself back because um, that will only slow down the process. Eventually, you are going to be with this person. That's exactly what I can see with these cards here. The star here, the ten of cups underneath. You kind of, you know, stop yourself from um, this, you know, reaching this beautiful point in your life where you could feel exact the way you want to feel. But um, you don't need to do that. You don't need to self-sabotage yourself because if you let go of that thing, you can have a very happy relationship with this person. So I wish you all the best for these 10 days of August 2018. I, I will see you in the next 10 days of um, August. So till then, uh, take care. And if the reading resonated with you, do like, subscribe and share. Take care. Bye-bye.